from episode number 11, Tannenbaum's Trek. Which one's Tannenbaum? Was he the uh, Scottish guy? Do you know? I think he was. Ah, I'm fair. P p p I've lost my Scottish accent. It's gone. <laughs> I'm fair puggled after that journey there. No, well then, what was I doing? You know, this city doesn't half dazzle. It's awfully hard to see what you're looking at. Hello, hello there. Are you here to see the sights, are you? I'm afraid you're in the wrong quarter. Only houses around here. Actually, I'm looking for somebody. Um, sorry to bother you. Do you have a hanky? I'm afraid not. Nor do I have much hope of you finding your friends, sad to say. This city's packed tight as an ant colony. By the way, I can't seem to place that accent. Yeah, it's not a very good one. Ha, oh, haroof! I didn't suppose you heard a fair craggy deal across the sands. You came all the way from there? Your friend must be very dear to you. Ha ha! I've been looking after the lad like he was my friend. And flesh and blood these past 18 years, almost to the day. But he changed. I have no idea why, but two months back he was off like a rocket to... Mondador. I just knew something wasn't right, so I packed a suitcase and knew here I am. Billy Conley for some reason. Oh my, it's good of you to come and find him, but you shouldn't stay for long, not with the masked gentleman about. Ah, I'm just a daft old man. Not too bothered about my own safety. But if he's got himself in trouble... Oh, you poor dear. I have two boys myself, I understand. What's your name? Hurr! Just Tannenbaum will be fine. <laughs> and I'm Gloria. I suppose you must feel a bit lost here. I'm from a country village myself, you know. Stansbury. How would you like to come round for a cup of tea and some pastries? Ah, hello! I couldn't hear if you was an offer like that now, could I? Oh dear god. <laughs> Please let it end. <laughs> Plot in a pod. The police under C.I. Sheffield. C.I. Sheffield? Oh, he's the guy, isn't he? <laughs> I thought, is that confirming that this place is near Sheffield? But no, it is not. Oi, Constable, how's patrol working out for you? Constable, well, here's a turn up for the books. Nothing to report on my end, I'm afraid. You? Not a sausage. I've been up and down these streets more times than you can shake a truncheon at. And while we're out doing the rounds, the shape chief's just having a go at the new blood. I told you. I told you they'd be at each other's throats again, didn't I? No good will come up relying on Scotland Yard. Oh, bless the lot of them. And that inspector, the one with the chest air, runs about like a nutter but never turns up for duty. Ah, you mean that musclehead Grosky? Makes you wonder where he's off to in such a hurry, doesn't it? I should have known... Uh, I should have known you two stackers would be here. You're cruising for a bruiser from the go, if you out. Oi, Constable. Oh, come on, we ain't got a chance, do we? There's nothing to do, seeing as we can't find a blinking lead. Blinking lead? Pretty sure that was, uh, censored. I don't think that the Q's gonna cut it with the Sarge. Anyway, what are you doing here, Constable? Is our shift over already? Ah, oh, you'll be lucky. Now that we've finished our search, I'm gonna decide to look after you two dunderheads. You finished the search? You made light work of that, Constable. Did you find any clues? Nothing out of the ordinary. And you know what I think? I think this masked gentleman of ours really did it. You know, a bony fighting miracle. Maybe that mask is the real thing too. Oh, come off it, Constable. You believe in that hocus pocus? People don't just vanish into thin air. Well, we'll find out when we catch him, won't we? <laughs> They're all the same person. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. They're all the same person. Did you see that gentleman with the top hat? They say, Tom, but nothing to solve the case. Uh, say some professor, I'm not convinced because he lives in civilians, it's police affairs. Okay. Here's D.I. Bloom. D.I. Orlando Bloom. They're all the same person. Hmm. I'd say everything's under control. If I could only tell who was who. Well, that was very necessary. Uh, episode number 13, Shimmering Stellar Circus. The Stellar Circus is all the rage in Montedor these days. Tonight we present you with an exclusive behind-the-scenes glimpse of the Carefree Troop. Watch episode. <sighs> ah, we've sold out again tonight. Our little Stellar Circus is really taking off. We've got a Hannibal to thank for that. He's the real star of the show. Isn't that right, you big softy? 
growl, growl. Get me away from these people, growl. Putting up those posters was a good idea. No one could tell from that picture that he's just a giant teddy bear. Hey, we even... We're almost out of Hannibal Soft Toys. Bugger did a dead good job with them posters, didn't he? Ha, I wonder. As far as I can tell, all that twit does is spread ludicrous rumours. Now, our success is due to the prowess of our troops and my strict training regi regime. And some of our members pull their weights more than others. Hannibal is worth a hundred of those ruddy rodents. Now, don't be so hard on them, buddies. They just need a patient and dedicated trainer, that's all. That would be me! I bet that young lad will manage to teach his bunny a whole bag of new tricks, you'll see. I want to die, growl, 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 kill me, growl, growl, growl. Oh, is it time for your Betty Bias, Hattie? Off you go then. We better get you rested before the show. Growl, I hate my life, growl. Poor guy. <laughs> Hey boss, did you take your tray of grab? Because it ain't in the food tent. But what? I knew it, that flaming bungles at it again. <laughs> I did see him scoffing a barrel of pudding a little while back. Next time I see him, the little twist's gonna get what's coming to him. This was also very necessary. Bungle, my friend, I think that might have been the straw that broke the camel's back. Fine. <laughs> That was also very necessary. Well, that's all the episodes we've got for now. Let us do toy robot puzzles. Don't know how many we've got. We have three unsolved. Okay, let's go to the Great Pyramid of Giza for some reason. Course five. I didn't look at the name because I thought that the name would be, you know, I, th I thought it would be part of the thing. So what exactly do we want to do here? Is a very good question. I need to end up... Kind of wish I could use hint mode, but uh, I need to basically end up uh, there, I think. Like that square where the mouse cursor is now. <sighs> to do that, I need to end up somewhere. Somewhere. Actually, isn't this really simple? Like, what if I do this? Then move down. I move down again. I, I, I've got a path, but I don't see how it's wrong. I'm sure I'm about to. And that's just going to be fantastic. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm sort of wondering, like... Was that key meant to be a red herring of some kind? Because that was really easy, especially compared with all the other... Uh, toy robot puzzles. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just, like got lucky by automatically assuming the key was a red herring or something, but uh, that worked. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about that. That worked fair and simple. That was Perilous Pyramid. Okay, let's move on to Weird Wilds, a remote jungle filled with plants that don't even have names yet. Oh, no. Can I name them? That'd be cool. So we need to get onto the goal. How do we get onto the goal? Let us think carefully about this. I need to end up, I think, on that conveyor there. To get on that conveyor there, I basically need to... I don't entirely know. <laughs> ah, a bit of off-screening then. Okay, this seems really simple, again. I don't know if I've fully thought it through. I think there's a couple of like interactions with the mice that I'm not 100% sure of. Uh, but this looks, at the moment, like it's correct. So from here I can go down. That gets me there. Then I can go left. Then I'm pretty sure I can go up without running into the mouse, right? No, not left. Well, whatever, I can just go left again, that's fine. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I can just go up without hitting the mouse. Yeah, I can, okay. Don't know if I've just got better at these toy robot puzzles, or I'm just somehow more in the mindset, or... something? 
<laughs> but the, it's going a lot better than it did before. Sturdy ship. Ruthless pirates once sailed the seven seas with this ship. Amazing. What the hell is that? That's that's not a mouse. That's definitely not a mouse. Oh god. <laughs> ah, let's think about this, shall we? One thing I really want to do is uh, run into the mice. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to do that, you know? I don't think I have any choice about that. I, like, I literally don't think I could possibly carry on without... Uh... Oh, maybe I have to go down first. Then, like, two up. Because I want, I, want I want to get the timing so that the cats are at the bottom at this point. But I don't think I can do that. What if I just kind of run for it? Well, it doesn't kill the cats, but is that necessary? I don't know. What am I trying to do anyway? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Destroy everything! <laughs> that went well. Oh, and now I can just like go to the right down right. Okay, so basically the entire gimmick of this one was to uh, sort out the timings on the enemies so that I could run them all over. Fine. <laughs> that was okay. I did it, which is always a good thing, you know? It's always the best kind of thing. Completed sturdy ship. Broken, and right when these kids were going to listen to some music too. Oh, that's the that's the worst thing.